hello everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about the reasons why we don't feel you know uh, enough when we are in relationship with narcissists or when we have a narcissist in our life and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out new content now reason number one is that these narcissists keep reminding us that we are not good enough yes narcissists have a lot of this insecurity they build up a fake facade and you know that's how they cope up with their insecurities you know they gaslight they minimize they devalue others and they see others as their supply and they have got zero empathy towards the others or towards you and me so these narcissists don't you know really feel how you would feel when you are being minimized and belittled so you know these narcissists go on devaluing you minimizing you and making you feel miserable and as if that you are not good enough only they are the ones who are superior intelligent wise all that knowing and that's it so whenever you are with a narcissist they keep on reminding you that you are not good enough they are the best one they are the bestest version out there you have a lot of catching up to do so that's how it is reason number two these narcissists as we know they have got zero empathy they really don't feel and understand your feelings and emotions they really don't hesitate in comparing you with others and you know they can tell you things like well look at their son he has done so much look at their you know wife she does so much look at her husband i mean he does so much so they really don't hesitate in comparing you with others uh every time that you fail to you know do things what they want you to do so that is a kind of a passive aggression and uh, you know when you you fail to do things for them that also causes a narcissistic injury to the narcissist and um, this is their way of you know teaching you a lesson or to make you feel miserable by comparing you with others they really don't care that you are feeling hurt or you are feeling miserable i'm i, I mean a healthy person uh, never compares yeah because no two individuals are same everyone is different special unique and that's how it is and uh, comparing people with you know uh, others i think it's absolutely unhealthy it's it's absolutely unhealthy and inhumane so i mean th that's how a healthy individual would think and perceive this you know comparison but for a narcissist everything is okay as long as they can make you feel miserable they can keep you on the hook that's it so yes these narcissists don't hesitate in you know comparing you with others when you fail to do things what they want you to do the next reason why we don't feel good enough when we are you know uh, having a narcissist in our life is because of constant gaslighting yes these narcissists keep on gaslighting us and gaslighting is basically when you are you know put in such a psychological state that you doubt your own self you doubt your own capabilities and you keep questioning your own self am i really good enough am i sane am i okay am i not crazy you know you you get into that self doubt mode so that is the entire purpose and goal of gaslighting so yes a narcissist is you know excellent in gaslighting you and you know never letting you be authentic and independent they always want you to be you know dependent on them and be codependent and that's how it is so yes this regular you know gaslighting also makes us feel you know not enough we keep doubting and we keep uh, wondering what is wrong with us why am i unable to do things properly why am i not you know able to do things the way how others are able to do you know all of that you know second guessing doubts everything is injected you know by these narcissists inside of us so the next reason why we don't feel enough is that these narcissists you know uh, only pay attention to us when it is convenient for them if it is not convenient for them 
they are least interested in giving you that attention they won't see you or hear you and these narcissists might you know be very disinterested they they just won't care what you want to say or what you want to share they'd be like hey i'm just doing something can i uh, you can you know tell me later hey i'm busy with this uh, can you just tell me a little later i i don't have time and i mean if, if they have a little bit of time and if they are in a mood to throw a little bit of crumbs you know these bread crumbs then they might be like oh okay mm. and they'll hear you out and then they'll take out you know 10,000 of your mistakes and they are going to again gaslight you well you shouldn't have it said like that well you shouldn't think like that and that's how it is so when they are in a mood to play with you and further exploit you and manipulate you and gaslight you only then they would give you that attention otherwise they are least interested or if they want something or if they want you to do something then you can have their attention otherwise it's zero attention from their end so the next reason you know why we feel you know not enough when we are with narcissists is that they don't listen to us they they want to be heard they want all that admiration attention and everything but they don't want to give yeah so narcissists are all about taking and not giving they they are not going to you know listen to you if 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 it's a good time or if it's a good hour of the day and they are in mood to you know listen to you they i mean they might appear as if they are listening to you but those are just you know crumbing they are just bread crumbing giving you tiny bits of validation and they might just listen to what you have to say but they they wouldn't hear it with empathy they wouldn't hear it with uh, you know any care and concern they would just hear it observe analyze and then they would you know again redirect the conversation back to them how their experience is better how what they have learned is better and what you have you know experienced or what you are going through it's too much of overacting and not worth and not right you know you are what you are going through is not right what you are thinking is not right so again the gaslighting goes on you know they might appear as if they are listening to you for a short while but uh, the things that you're going to get in return is lots of gaslighting minimization and you would be left with a big question mark about your own self yeah so that is one of the reasons why we don't you know feel enough when we are with a narcissist so the next reason why we feel you know not good enough when we are you know surrounded by narcissists or when we are in relationship with narcissists is that these narcissists keep reminding us they keep reminding us how they are the good one how they are the perfect match for us how we are not good enough and we need their support throughout life in order to you know survive and carry we are incomplete you know without them so this is how these narcissists groom us they they gaslight us and that is how they keep us on hook yeah so they'll keep on reminding you you know uh, that uh, nobody is going to love you the way how i love nobody is going to do things for you the way how i do i mean who knows there are other people also who who can even love you more or and who can do things for you yeah so there is a lot of manipulation and gaslighting you know that uh, happens when you are in relationship with a narcissist or if you have a narcissist in your family or if you have narcissistic friends boss any setup the next reason why we don't feel good enough is that these narcissists have a lot of contempt inside of them and uh, as we know that contempt is a soul killer so you know their contempt towards you can come out in a lot of ways you know minimizing statements devaluing statements and actions and behavior lots of gaslighting and uh, i mean basically that all of this manipulation is to make you feel miserable because you are not you know uh, worthy you you are their supply 
you you are like a puppet and they are the controllers so they they as it is assume that they are superior and they deserve all that superior treatment and good treatment and the bestest treatment uh, out there and uh, you are there to provide them with that and uh, you don't have a life of your own and your emotions are useless your talent and everything it's of no concern yeah you just have to do what they want you to do and you know they have this inside you know this uh, sense of entitlement and uh, you know they feel so superior that they 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 look at you as if you're just a robot or a minion to do their work nothing else you're not an individual they don't see you as an individual with uniqueness with character with intelligence no and uh, that hatred can be seen yeah that superiority complex can also be seen you know the superiority complex that is inside of narcissists in their action behavior and words and all those gaslighting and manipulation and uh, you can see this strong component of contempt inside of them yeah and that is why we we don't feel comfortable we don't feel good enough we are lost and we have a lot of questions and we we just feel miserable as if uh we we have a life with the narcissist and uh, we won't be you know having any life if we come out of the relationship we are manipulated to think in that way that we are not good enough you know without them with them we are having some value and worth but without them we are useless beings yeah the next reason why we don't feel good enough when we are surrounded by narcissists or when we are in relationship with narcissists is that these narcissists are all the time you know uh, busy on social media and you know ghosting and uh, checking out other you know people and commenting them and you know liking their pictures and everything you know just you know uh, with uh, hopes of getting you know uh, some amount of attention and validation and admiration from others as we know social media has become a new playground for these narcissists so narcissists are all the time busy on social media checking someone's profile if someone has said something they're going to give a befitting reply and you know they, they would be thinking and wondering and expecting you know some flying monkeys and enablers to come in and say oh yes you have said it you have said the right thing so you know they, they keep seeking all that admiration and validation on social media and um, and it, it makes us feel you know empty and it makes us feel unworthy you know we we keep on doing what we have to do we keep on providing them what we have to and uh, that's it and they are lost they are lost you know and they are in quest and in search of seeking validation and admiration on social media so that is also one of the reasons why we don't feel good enough ideally a person is going to feel good enough when there is healthy you know communication yeah and uh, healthy communication is when you know both individuals are seen and heard and both can talk uncomfortable you know issues uncomfortable topics with absolute comfort yeah and you know everyone opens up and talks about their vulnerabilities based on their vulnerabilities you know partners don't judge each other or don't misuse each other's vulnerability i mean that's how it is in a healthy relationship but uh, with narcissists things are very different that's why i say that having a narcissist in your life is like having a devil on your back and it's very difficult to get rid of that devil i mean some of us are lucky and some of us are not the next reason why we don't feel you know good enough when we are surrounded by narcissists or when we are in relationship with a narcissist is that you know these narcissists don't hesitate in cheating on you and when you find out they are going to blame you yes they are not going to take the blame because they think they are good and they are doing everything right and they have they are entitled to do anything they can just run over you they can make you feel miserable they can cheat on you and that's it 
do they owe an explanation no because they feel entitled and superior and you are just a supply so they don't hesitate you know in even you know cheating on you a lot of these clients who come to me who you know are trying to recover from the narcissistic abuse in relationship romantic setup often say that uh, you know my partner cheated and upon confrontation he said that well you couldn't give me you couldn't do things for me so what do you expect i would go out so you know this this uh, sense of entitlement is there that they can do anything and you just have to you know keep on being their loyal servant and a loyal supply the next reason why we don't feel good enough when we are surrounded by narcissists or in relationship with the narcissist is that uh, narcissists themselves don't feel good enough and they keep on lying they have a lot of insecurities attachment issues and they keep on lying to their own self they keep on you know covering it up they keep on you know creating that illusion and living by that illusion of being virtuous and being intelligent and being all that knowing wise and they are really messed up so if you are with a messed up person you are going to feel messed up as well it's absolutely obvious if you are with a grounded person if you are with someone who's emotionally regulated and if you are some uh, if you are with someone who's emotionally healthy you are going to feel emotionally healthy as well and if someone who has layers and layers and layers of insecurities and they they are living a lie what do you expect you are not going to have that connection you won't feel you know attached you there is no bonding at all there is just give and take and that's all yeah there is no return also because narcissists don't believe in giving back so you have to listen to them you have to praise them you have to admire them you have to thank them you have to keep doing what they want you to do and you don't have to expect anything in return so that is sickness so if you are with a sick person you are going to feel sick as well that is how it is it's absolutely simple and clear so these are a couple of reasons why we don't feel good enough when we have a narcissist in our life yes so this was all about you know different reasons why we don't feel good enough when we have a narcissist in our life in case if you guys would like to add in something you guys can always comment below until then take care of yourself say no to abuse say no to toxicity and yes either create a healthy boundary or stay away from narcissists lots of love and blessings bye